We drove down to Cedar Key and set sail to one of the small barrier islands, Asena Odi Key. This island is just one and a half miles away from the mainland. The winds were calm and the waves were small, which made for a great day to practice sailing on open water. So we're here at the cemetery and the thing that I think is pretty cool about the cemetery is that Florida has a lot of history, but a lot of that history is wiped away from the storms, hurricanes, changing in, you know, the sand, like buildings and structures don't really last too long in Florida. And to see things that are from like, you know, the mid 1800s still here, still standing on a place like this little island, pretty neat, it's pretty special. and. Uh, I hope that uh, it can last and, and, and still be here for other people to see. The neat part about how hidden Florida's history is, is that you got to go and find it. You know, we have to basically explore until you can find those little hidden treasures that are, uh, you know, what made Florida, you know, what it is. You can find out here the cemetery from the 1800s and you can find something like an arrowhead from the Native Americans. And so there's all kinds of cool stuff you can find. You just have to basically be willing to go out there and, and look for it and hopefully not disturb it. We decided to go to Shell Mound and so behind me here you'll see a lot of shells and all of these shells were placed here by Native Americans a long long time ago and you can see it's like almost like a it's like a whole mountain of, of shells going all the way back and up over here. So this is an example of those hidden treasures that you can find in Florida. You know, these, gosh, these date, these date so far back. 
and here they are, you know, just buried. <laughs> I mean, shoot, they're, they're burying everything else. Look at that. There's Callie up there. That's how many shells. And there's like tons of these. This entire elevation is made up of these shells.